I'm going to be super brief. Uh, and, and the reason is, as you may know, there's been an awful lot of changes, an awful lot of changes at Music Canada recently. Uh, and we like to think of ourselves as a, as a change agent. Um, and uh, so to deliver remarks on behalf of Music Canada tonight, I want to formally introduce you to our newly appointed chair of the Music Canada Board of Directors, the first independent director that, uh, that Music Canada or its predecessor has ever had. As Vice President of Public Policy at MasterCard Canada, she brings outstanding expertise in corporate governance, finance and accountability, and government relations. Please join me in welcoming Jennifer Sloan to the stage. Thank you, Graham, and hello, everyone. I'm pleased to be making my first public appearance as chair of the Music Canada Board of Directors here at the Juno Awards as Canada's music community comes together to celebrate. I may be a new face to most of you in the room, so I'm happy to be able to introduce myself today and to highlight some of the transformative initiatives at Music Canada that brought me to the organization. Last year at this very event, we highlighted the need to prioritize the values of inclusion and diversity and to challenge the status quo. I'm happy to say that a lot of progress has been made in this area over the last year. First, this event is no longer the chairman's reception. We're at the chair's reception. <laughs> Kudos to Karis on this change, which reflects a shift within the music industry to more inclusive practices, language, and mindset. And second, at Music Canada, a comprehensive organizational review initiated a year and a half ago is now having a real impact on the organization. The review was intended to ensure that Music Canada is as reflective as possible of the community as a whole. We reorganized the need to take action so that we are well positioned to realize our goal for all Canadians to truly appreciate the power and value of music. The review was first put into motion with the addition of two independent member positions to Music Canada's Board of Directors to increase the representation of women to 40%. Next, we adopted a formal diversity policy to ensure Music Canada's governance and activities consider and measure the balance of skills, experience, knowledge, perspectives, and independence in alignment with our strategic plan and the environment in which we operate. I'm thrilled today to announce another major step in this process, a change designed to ensure our leadership is guided by a broad spectrum of voices representing the exquisite mosaic that is our music community. It is now my pleasure to unveil Music Canada's new advisory council. Reporting to the president and CEO, the council is comprised of 15 members, all of them exceptional and passionate people representing diverse constituencies in the music industry who have agreed to share their viewpoints and expertise with us. The Council will evaluate Music Canada's progress against the stated goals and objectives in our strategic plan. They will also provide advice and counsel regarding our programs, activities, and research so that we can achieve our goal of being an agent of change and thought leader in our community. The full advisory council is displayed on the televisions. Please join me in welcoming those in the room here with us today. Josh Cole, Shoshana Kish, 
Miranda Mulholland, Alicia Rose, and Charlie Wall Andrews. We are excited to have these individuals on board to help us build a more robust music ecosystem in Canada. I encourage you to learn more about our new advisory council. Additional information and a news release are available at musiccanada.com. With the support of our members from Sony and Universal and Warner, we are committed to reflecting the communities in which we live and work and to fostering an environment in which music businesses can thrive and artists will prosper. Thank you and have a great evening and a great weekend.